Welcome to It's Not Letting Me. As a teacher, I've always used typography as the basis to teach the fundamentals of design. A lot of people take type for granted, but the basics can change the way that you communicate visually. The first basic thing in typography is choosing a font. When you choose a font, there are two things to consider, form and function. The function of a font is for it to be readable. If your font is too small or too spaced out, or if it's too decorative, it may be difficult to read. The form of a font is how it looks and how it feels. There's two main types of fonts, serif and sans serif. Serifs are the little decorative edge things that make fonts look a little bit more formal. The main function of these fonts is readability. That's why when you see a printed source, like a textbook or a newspaper, they typically choose a serif font because it helps your eye go and read through it faster. So you'll see serif fonts used in more formal type logos, like the president, like a financial institution or a law firm would most likely use a serif font. The other type of font is sans serif, which in Latin simply means without serif. These fonts don't have any small decorations in them, so you don't have to deal with really small pixels. That makes them much easier to read on screens. So if you're designing a website or an app or something that will be viewed on a screen like a PowerPoint presentation, you definitely want to use a sans serif font. The detail will be much more crisp on a screen. One of the most popular sans serif fonts in the world is Helvetica. You'll see it everywhere, from the New York City subway, to the American Apparel logo, the American Airlines logo, and even all around the Crate and Barrel logo, which is beautifully wrapped around the box. Fonts have many attributes, but the main ones are color, style, and size. The color of your font should be readable. The main thing to consider here is to think about contrasting colors. When you have a font over a background color or a photo, you want the color to be contrasting. You can look at the color wheel and see what happens on either side of the wheel to get an idea of which colors are nicely contrasted together. One common effect that you can use in most editing programs with fonts is a drop shadow. A drop shadow just puts a little shadow or a complete duplicate of the font somewhere behind your text and it makes it much easier because it helps it stand out from the background. With fonts, size does matter. When I'm teaching, I often refer to what I call the 10 foot rule. When students are designing posters, it's good to look at the poster from 10 feet away and make sure that the main things that you need to communicate are big and readable. And sometimes the secondary or subtitles are a little bit smaller, but still have a little bit of readability to them. In a movie poster, there might be a title and a subtitle, but then the details or the credits block is going to be smaller and you might have to walk a little bit closer than 10 feet to read that. You can adjust the size of the font to emphasize different words throughout a design. Sometimes words like of, uh, and the can be smaller, but the bigger, more important words will stand out and so you use a larger size font for those. For body copy, 12 point is pretty much the standard size for readability. People can read that whether it's a term paper or a magazine article or a pamphlet for a business. There should be some kind of harmony between the size and relationship of the text. Fonts can be styled in various different ways. You can underline, italicize, and use bold. Underline can emphasize the importance of a word, italics can create a sense of movement, and bold will make it thicker and help it stand out more. Justification is the way that the text is aligned on the page. A left justification puts the edge of the beginning of all the words on the left side. A right justification puts all of the end of sentences on the right side, and a centered alignment will put everything in the center. You can also do full justified, which will put both the beginning and the end of sentences on the left and right margin. Your final consideration with fonts is case. There's four different types of case to consider when designing your piece. Title case, sentence case, lower case, and upper case. Title case capitalizes every word except of, and, or the. Upper case capitalizes everything. Lower case keeps everything in lowercase letters. And sentence case only capitalizes the first letter of the line and all proper words in the sentence. Thanks for joining me here at It's Not Letting Me. Please like and subscribe down below and tune in next time where we'll talk more about design. You can see that Photoshop project right here and leave us a comment and let us know what else you'd like to learn about. See you next time here at It's Not Letting Me. It's not letting me. Quit saying that.